just How can the best part of this marriage just be whenever I'm around? <laughs> First, you don't answer the question. What was the best part of the marriage for you? <coughs> I beg you. I mean, the best part of the marriage for me is the fact that we are friends. I like how friendly we are. Uh, <laughs> right. What is wrong with you? See mosquito. I'm sure not a Jew not in Albany. Making fried rice today. <laughs> okay, it looks like fried rice. I mean, I should do jollof. <laughs> Or should I do rice and sauce? White rice and sauce? Curry sauce? <laughs> so I should cook who do the fried? Bye. Try up with any cigar. Oh. I didn't chuckle I again. I'm begging. Thank you. Close the door well. Hey guys, now look here with a very beautiful face and a very beautiful t-shirt. You guys already know, okay? So let me tell you guys, my match is almost out. This is one of the designs. I love the material of this t-shirt. Like I'm obsessed with how soft my materials are. I'm obsessed with the text. I'm obsessed with everything. I'm so happy. I know this video is not about my match, yeah? so let me just save it for the main video. But it should be out by the time this video is up. I'm not sure if it is. I put details to order on the screen in my description. You guys already know, okay? This video is sponsored by me. <laughs> that being said, so my elder sister made a video um, talking about her grass to grace story with my sister NJ. And in the video, she talked about how I came to US to do a mogul for her. And when I was talking to her on the phone, she was like, I should actually do a story time sharing the experience. And I'm so happy to do the story time because I and my sister actually remember that experience very differently. When I've all the times I've talked to her about it over the years, what she had to say is not how I see it in my head. I don't come and tell her, you know, how it was to me because really there is no need. Do you understand? So, um, we see it differently. So Choma, this is my own side of the story, okay? <laughs> I went to do Omugo for my sister at the age of 19, fresh out of uni. I turned 20 in America, I think, fresh out of uni. That year, prior to me going to Florida to do Omugo for her, I had already also gone to LA, California. I did um, what well, was for summer holidays slash Omugo for my cousin Chisindi. Now, well, and I we carried Chisindi. See, Ch we're literally mommies to Chisindi, my cousin, and I even went to New York that year. Like, I was actually like living my best life that period. <laughs> then um, I graduated uni. I was in the process of applying for my master's and I was just about to start NYC as well. And, you know, I was basically in an uncertain time. Like, I didn't know what was next. Master's, NYC, blah, blah, blah. And then my sister was pregnant and um you know my dad was like i should go and help my sister out in america since my sister is about to give birth and like i said she shared the story in her grass to grace story so she didn't even have money then to afford a nanny okay nannies are expensive so of course they shipped me to america as the last born that did not have any say i went to america i was happy actually going to america to help my sister out um you know it was nice and see let me tell you guys one thing i remember about that experience is First of all, I was always trying to apply to schools, you know, try to do my own thing. And I remember always, always, always having to also take care of my sister's baby. I don't know if my sister remembers it this way. But the thing is, I think then she was either in nursing school or working or taking exams. I don't know what it was. But my sister legit used to go to work by 5 a.m. in the morning. 5 a.m. So they used to wake me up around 4, 4.30 trust me nobody wants to wake up at that time of the day and then give me the baby that's zena see zena i suffer for you zena <laughs> i suffer for you zizi <laughs> and give zena to me so i would hold zena all day till sometimes she comes back like afternoon sometimes she comes back evening i literally hold zena all day i will, she she had this warmer she already expressed she would have the milk she had the milk in the fridge you know she would tell me to warm it and give the baby i, I already knew how to do all that to be honest so i'll take care of zena like the primary caregiver that's what i was for z because my sister was always busy then she would come back in the night or evening or her husband would come back then take the baby and then i sleep and you know do my own thing then i wake up again by like four or five in the morning it was an unending cycle and you know, a trauma just had a baby, first baby. To be honest, it's stressful. Again, I said, she might not remember the story like this, but Choma used to snap at me. <laughs> she used to snap at me. Like, in my head, I was actually trying my very best. Now, as an adult, right, I understand it now and I have kids. I understand, you know, the mood she was at. And to be honest, it's not easy to just give birth. You're still going to school. You're doing all that. I just get snapped at a lot. And me, something used to 
switch in my head once I get snapped at. Then I'll start carrying face and then there'll be small tension around the house. To be honest, yeah, it was a good experience, but it was also a very stressful experience for me. And like I said, I was 19, living my baby girl life, looking for schools to go and do my master's. Like, you know, I was in that process. It's not like I was in a, how do I put it? I wasn't, I don't think I was mentally prepared, okay, for the stress of, you know, um, being responsible for the baby alone at home when, excuse me, <coughs> when my sister is not around. Of course, like I said, I carried Chisindi, but I was with Nazo, my auntie, like cousins, and there were people around, and, you know, there were so many people taking care of Chisindi at the same time, 247. But it was very different. I was there when Z was born, and my sister did see it, so you guys already know how stressed it is. And her husband is a doctor, he never has time. Um, I was there when Z was born in the hospital. Hopefully, I'll find pictures so that I can put pictures for you guys. If I cannot find pictures, I'm sorry. I was there when Z was born. I took good care of Z. But one thing I love my sister and her husband for is that they would take care of you no matter what. Then they did not even have money. But I remember not wanting or lacking anything that I wanted. Do you understand? Like, I remember Choma would take me to the movies. I have these pictures. I hope I find these pictures. I remember Choma would take me to the movies then, you know, just so that I can watch him. I think we used to go and watch movies together. In fact, we used to watch like two or three movies at the same time. Where was this baby actually? Maybe it was me and Choma and the baby was at home in her husband. I don't know. Or they used to drop me alone. To be honest, I can't remember. I remember we used to go shopping. They didn't have money then, but they would take me to um, Forever 21. I was a Forever 21 babe that year, okay? I was a Forever 21 babe. I'll go to Forever 21. I'll do some live shopping. My dad, of course, gave me some money. I'm sure he cannot send me to America without money. It was like best of both worlds, okay? I would take care of the baby sometimes, and sometimes I'll also enjoy. But one part that Choma keeps forgetting whenever she's telling the story, she talks about how let me just tell you, Chi. Chi, Choma is always talking about how, ah, sometimes my mood will just change. I will just, if I just turn on this, but you do not remember the part that you were cussing it. You did, you, you will not remember that part. You were cussing it now as a full-blown adult, right? And now with all the kids you've had, knowing how stressful it can get having kids, think about it and think about how what you are doing to me sometimes. And I feel like, you know, you, you, it's like sometimes I get shouted on for, Things I I do not even know. I'm new to this. I told my to be an to carry face. And I can carry face, so nobody can carry face past me. I have to carry face very well, very, very well. But to be honest, yeah, if I'm to go back and do this again, I will do it again for my sister, anything for her. And knowing what I know now, if I were to do that again, to be honest, I'll do an even better job. I know according to her, I did an amazing job. Obviously, when she's telling the story, she says this part, how I did an amazing job, how I was so young. But, you know, I did an amazing job. If I was to go back here, yeah, I'm going to do even better because now I understand the feeling of having a new baby, being stressed, having to go to school, take exams, be a nurse. Like, I understand the stress now. So, I wouldn't even let her get that stressed, stressed enough to, to shout or anything. I would do everything in my power to just help her out and just uh, relieve her of every external stress. Let it just be the, you know, ones I cannot control. But all in all, it was a very beautiful experience. And also when I, I, I had um, Kobe in Choma's house, my first son, I had him in Florida, in Choma's house. My sister was the best that period. Like, my sister was the best. And I was also the best. I know this, okay? I remember when I was in Choma's house, Choma used to stress, enter kitchen clean. I went with Chayo, one of my cousins. Like, it was such a nice experience. I was so new to this then. It's funny how, I, before then, I had already carried other people's babies. But when it got to my own turn, it was like, I forgot how to do this shit. Like, I did not know what to do. I remember the day that I was supposed to, Kobe was supposed to take his first bath at home. You guys know in America, when you're born, they say, no bath the child, till belly button falls off. So, be no bath we were just cleaning him so um i remember the first day that kobe was supposed to have his bath to be honest i used to have all these pictures i think i lost them and i'm so sad first day kobe was supposed to have his bath and um my mom was busy in the kitchen ah me and my mom quarried that day we're sorry for another day me and my mom quarried i said my, i told my mom to come and bath the kids my mom now said she was busy doing something for choma then i was not even angry because like me and you came to america for you to do a mungo for me and then you're busy doing something for choma choma was like oh, there's no reason to share come on let's can do it let me show you how it's done I know you like it. Do you feel warm? You like it. That's the way the baby loves his bath. Oh, you are gonna look so handsome, my love. I know. Tomorrow, so nice and gentle. Like, do you not know have the memory of that first bath? 
in my memories like i don't think in my brains right i don't think it's something i'll ever forget i have that memory um choma did everything i remember i was even taking pictures or making videos she showed me how everything is done even the whole turning hand to the back calmly and just massaging it with hot water it was such a beautiful experience my sister is so amazing with kids i keep telling her that more kids are your future okay what i want to have could be to be honest i was not stressed i was it was kind told that i believe i had postpartum depression obviously i wasn't diagnosed but i know what i felt when I had Kaito, but I didn't feel that when I had Kobe, and I'm sure a big part of that is because my sister Chama was there. Who is this? Hello. Who is this? Okay. Good job, miss. Let's check the mail. Oh, we got a package. Bye, NJ. Say bye, N Auntie NJ. Bye, Auntie NJ. Aww. Kobe's story that I had in my sister's house, it was such a sweet experience. So I feel like somehow she helped me with my. I helped her with her first child, right? And she helped me with my first child. Oh, that's so sweet. I've never thought about it that way before. I helped her out. And then how many years later? It wasn't even too long. So this was 2011 and I had COVID 2015. Just four years later, actually. Uh, happy birthday. Mm. Mm. Of course. Mm -hmm. I'm recording. <laughs> Four years later, who, who who would have thought that in four years I'll be back there with my own child, trying to have my own child. Anyways, four years later, I was back in her house and she really helped me out with Kobe. My sister taught me a lot. My sister is the most patient mother I know. She's the most involved, most caring. Like, the way my sister is raising her kids, if I can raise my kids 50% as good as she's, she's doing, then my kids are going to be amazing. This is not even me trying to hype her, like... She's such a present, good, um, was was intentional mom. I know I'm a good mom, okay? <laughs> we already know. But that should even tell you how amazing my sister is with kids. Like I said, Choma, you have children in your future. Shasha, that's a quick story. All right, I wanted to come and clarify so because after Choma tells the story, she's telling like, mm, I used to give her problems sometimes. But no, sister, you used to give me problem too sometimes. It was your problem that caused my problem. <laughs> Oh my god, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick story time. That's it. Have you done a mugo for somebody before? It's not easy carrying people's kids, though. It's not easy. Um, yeah, let me know. What was your experience? Have you carried kids for your sister? Especially sisters, because when you're working for somebody, it's different. But when you're your sister, sister, I cannot talk anyhow. She will slap you. <laughs> Anyways, that's that story. I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick story time. Check my description for the merch if it's available on my screen. If not, hopefully the next video will be me telling you guys all about this merch that I'm so, so happy about. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in my next one. Mwah! And there she goes. There she goes. She touched my heart and said, I'm busy now, no, so go, oh, 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 Fall in love now, in the first day The beautiful girl gonna make the head shake I look into the mirror, all I see is up In the midst of my mind, all I see is up Time on me music, we talking main goose Number one in the game, let me fake goose